Don't want any trouble. I just want to go. Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Cane Self-Defense of Master Gary Hernandez. This is another series of the Savage Cane. What I was just kind of going over is a situation where someone approaches me, I know there's going to be a problem, trying to talk my way out of it, but have no choice but to defend myself. And I've got to do it quick and direct. Now, I happen to have my cane this time in my hand, and I was just kind of carrying it leisurely, just strolling around. Individual or individuals come up to me. Trying to talk my way out of it, but all of a sudden, one of them starts to move. Well, you have to move fast, quick, and direct. So being that I'm in arm's length of this individual, I'm going to use my crook, and I'm going to strike into vulnerable areas. Now, understand, we're calling these series the Savage Cane because your life could be on the line. They're going to hurt you, and you want to go home to your loved ones. So one of the techniques I did was I simply banked a little bit, whether I'm moving the hand, bobbing and weaving a little bit, and did a direct shot right straight to the face. It's a piece of wood. There's teeth. Oh, well, that's what's going to happen. I move and I strike. Another one I can do is move, and I've shown this one many times before, banking a little bit in, catching them in the throat. Think of an open hand shot right to the throat using my crook. Another one I did using that crook. Remember, we're in close in arm's length. Banked around, caught him like a hook punch. Caught him in the ear. Now understand targeting areas when you're having to get savage on somebody. Straight shots, piece of wood. You can hit the nose, yes, but if they're pretty big, Remember, a lot of boxers, kickboxers, have been broken nose, they're still fighting. Yeah, I know it's a hard piece of wood, but you know what? Take a good piece of wood, straight to the teeth, they're going to back up quickly. I don't want to go for the forehead because I could skim and miss off. The throat, I don't care how big he is. You smash him in the throat with a hard piece of wood, he's going to have a hard time breathing. Golden rule, he can't breathe, he can't come after you. Another technique, side of the head, targeting areas, three main ones. I like the ear. Hitting that ear with a nice hook punch or a solid cane, going to knock the equilibrium. It's going to give me time to think, give me time to move. Jawline, striking that jawline. Hitting that jawline, fracture that, break it, sends a shock wave right up. That's why a lot of uppercuts... And boxing, knock them out because that just sends waves right up. Temple. I hate to have to hit it, but if my life's on the line, oh well, they picked the wrong day. Hitting that temple is a strong possibility you could kill somebody. Remember, the brain kind of floats a little bit if they stay in there. But you know what? Again, my life, I'm going home. Can I go to the body? Yeah. If they're not wearing a big old jacket or nothing, I can hit them in the solar plex. I can bust a rib. I can hit them in the groin. But, depending if they're muscular, if they're fat, if they're wearing clothing because it's snowing and they got jackets on. Florida, yeah, they're in t-shirts. But I want to move around. The second thing I want to talk about, holding that cane. You've got that cane. Can I have my horn in? Yeah, you can. For this one, I want my horn out because if I do miss with that hook punch, I can come back. <clears throat> I throw that technique, come back. When you throw this and you're here, think about throwing, when you throw that reverse punch or that cross, <clears throat> two primary knuckles, right? When well, you got that cane, you're moving around straight in. Notice how I brought, don't have it like that, too much play. I'm coming in like this to where less play, striking that face. When I'm hitting to the side, same thing. It comes up. I'm holding it like this. I'm not going to hit it with my knuckles, so I don't need to be perfectly like that. What I'm doing is I simply cock it like this. That piece of wood, boom, says everything it needs to say. It's talking its own language right there. So I'm striking them. 
Once I hit them, they start to go back. Then I can flip back. Just like that. Savage big dishes to get them off me. I want to go home. They came at me. I fought. Again, the Savage King series is when your life is on the line. Don't do this to drunk Uncle Barry or Uncle Al, no. Or some idiot that's, no. This person's gonna hurt you, or oh, there's more than one, and you know there's a problem. Then you fight for your life. Remember though, always remember this, no matter what situation, after you get out of it, report it. Because if this person shows up in the ER, they're going to have a whole different story. And they're going to be looking for you. So you need to go report it first. What happened? Where it happened? Were there witnesses? How many? Tell them. Tell them everything. You wanted to get home. So you fought for your life. I'm not saying you have to kill this individual. But if he's 6'3", 6'4", 250, he's trying to hurt you, or there's more than one, you need to get savage on them. Take them down, get out of there, and go home. Call the cops and report it. So remember, moving around. Use that hand. Redirect their grabbing. Push them away. Keep that in tight. Strike that. Hit that throat. Hit that mouth. Bank. Hit that ear. Hit that temple. Hit that jawline. They're backing up. Full swing. You can go to the ribs if you think you're going to pull it off well, but he's big. I'm going to pull it off a lot better here. So, <clears throat> defend yourself. You know, you can use your other techniques. Give them a knee, give them a shot. But you need to get home because you're the one that's important. So, work those techniques. Keep that cane in tight. Remember, throw that out there like that. Hook it like that. Swing it like that. Gary Nettis, thank you. I hope this technique works. Practice. Always say, make it your own. Until next time. Stay savage.